Hello there and welcome to this video today where we are looking at the Comic Life Free software and seeing what we can do with it to create a comic quickly and easily. Within Comic Life 3 there's loads of different things that you can do. You can create scripts based on templates which can be quite helpful but what we're going to be looking at today is comics and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to double click onto Blank with Styles and then it's going to load up the main interface and from here we can really really have a look to see what we can do. And in this video we're going to look at only a few little things that you can do and then this is going to be expanded upon and built upon in future videos. So if we have a look over here on the right hand side first of all, what we can do is choose from loads of different layouts for our comic strip. So you've planned a comic strip, you know when it, what you want it to look like, how you want it to feature, how you want it laid out. And what we can do from here is instead of having to do things ourselves, we can be quite lazy and say right okay then let's go for a particular layout. And then once you've got the layout you want, you can left click and then drag it out. And if you like that, fantastic happy days what you can do is click on to each of the cells and just change them you can edit them in size and say I want another one to appear I'm just going to copy and paste one and then I can just put that in there so it's really quick and easy to set up a layout however complicated you want it to be um, just by arranging the different shapes so you can see over here it's already looking at my pictures folder and I've got six images here which I want to put in and for example we are going to go for this piece of clip art over here. I've just dragged it over to here and here we can see our nice big blue guy flaming hair with the sun in the background. What is really helpful is that Comic Life has got its own little version of Magic Wand built into it so we can get rid of different areas and it's called this tool over here Instant Alpha. And you can see straight away it's already picked up on the, red and the white background of the image. But what we can also do is click on other colours we want to disappear. So all I want to see is the man without any suns in the background. I've got all my selections done so now I can press enter. So now all the white space is gone. It's now transparent so then I can tuck things in front of him. So if I bring on over these three images here, all I'm going to do for here is add the image because I've got the two images in the panel. And if I click on, if you look at these images here, now they're all in the same panel, they're all grouped together so I can do different things with them. Which can be really helpful if you think, right, okay, then let's move that frame over there, bring that frame down there. And you can redirect and re-say, okay, then let's have different things going into different places based on what we need. If we're going to take um, this image here, put it into this cell here, and then put Gablam over the front of him, and we're going to add the image again, you can see that we've lost the things behind it. If we go over to Instant Alpha, we say, right, okay, then let's get rid of some of these sections. What we're able to do is get rid of them really quickly, and then press Enter when we're done. So now what we can see is the people in the background once it starts to load up there we go and then we can move him around and do quite happily with that we can add text bit marks really easily if I just bring that over there and all I'm going to put in here is hi guys and you can also change the speech bubble that it's appearing in we can also add some lettering if we put that over here and then what we can do from here is say the amazing Adventures of Fireman. Hopefully spell that all correct, but at the moment you can see that all I've got is the word the, because you can see the outline of the text box here. What that means is when we click off that, we get the text on here, but we just can't see it. So then we can think about where we want to lay out, where we want to positioning it, where we want to reduce the sizes of it, so then we can all fit in. It's been a very quick video looking at different areas of comic life. I hope you found this useful, and I shall see you in another video. See you later.